Hey everyone, how's it going? I know I just put out a video yesterday regarding the ASRock 6600 XT and it was pulling about 90 watts at the wall doing 32 mega hash on Ethereum. And for the most part that's right, but I do want to address it a little bit better. I did find some better timings, plus I changed the way I was testing it. Originally, we tested the rig itself and it was pulling 26 watts at idle. Um, then we were taking that number and subtracting that from what we got on the kilowatt when we were mining and it came out to about 90 watts. So today we changed it around. Let me flip the camera around. And today we have the motherboard being powered by a Pico PSU, so it's completely separated, and that is currently running off of my benchtop power supply because it takes a 12 volt power supply. And we are hashing right now, so depending upon the inefficiency of the Pico PSU, we are pulling from the motherboard about 35 watts. Now, the GPU is powered solely by an EVGA Supernova 750 watt platinum power supply and right here is a jumper block on the 24 pin just to turn the power supply on so we are hashing at 32 mega hash on ethereum right now let's see what the kilowatt actually says look at that 58 watts now let's jump back over to the computer and give you a little more details on this. Okay, so now we're back on the desktop, I have HiveOS open, currently running 32.18 mega hash. Everything's basically the same. The other thing that was changed was the memory controller voltage, 700 millivolts. That saves some power right there. Um, if you go below this, you start starving the memory controller for voltage and your mega hash will come down. 700 seems to work great on the ASRocks. Um, other people have tried to give me their overclocks for like a Sapphire 6600 XT and it just flat out crashes. So each manufacturer is different. These overclocks work for my ASRock. They're not gonna work for a different 6600 XT. It'll get you into ballpark, but these are the things you need to look for when you're tuning the 6600 XT. It is definitely a finicky little card, but once you have it tuned in, it's great. So, I know this is gonna be a quick little video, but as you can see, 57.8 watts doing 32 mega hash directly from the card, plus whatever inefficiency from the platinum power supply. That's the only thing that this is measuring right now. I've eliminated the motherboard. So I'm sorry, but that definitely beats the 1660 Super at 70 or 75 watts that everyone claims. We got the card doing 32 mega hash at 57 watts. So as always, we're still going to be playing with this. It's still a new card. Other people are going to find other things going on. Your best thing to do is come say hi to us in the Mining Misfits Discord. The link will be down in the video description and we can all work together and see if we can get more out of this card. So, quick video, take it easy. I'll see you next time.